Hi guys, welcome to Barrel Exhaust. This is Giridhar Soundarajan, Mr. Barrel, and here uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the Atom exhaust for the Royal Enfield Interceptor and the GT650. Uh, this is one of the most, uh, you know, uh, best-selling uh, exhaust systems for uh, uh, from our kitty about for the, uh, you know, RE650 uh, category. And uh, the speciality of this is this is the lightest of the options available ever. So the combined weight of both of these exhaust systems, uh, the slip-ons, are only 4.4 kilos. That is together, it's 2.2 per uh, exhaust system. And this, uh, compared to your uh, stock exhaust system, is almost uh, uh, what, eight, 8 kilos less on your bike. Uh, because the stock exhaust system combined weight of both the mufflers is around 12 kilos. And this combined weight is around 4.4 kilos. So almost you save about 8 kilos on your bike, which definitely adds to your power to weight ratio. And uh, this is completely stainless steel 304 mirror polished. And uh, this comes with a lifetime rust free warranty. Comes with a removable DB killer. You see the DB killers does not have to be fixed through any kind of a holes on either sides. It has a very unique, uh, uh, you know, type of locking mechanism, which is basically, uh, you can see, you can see those three screws here. These three grub screws can be removed with uh, your Allen key, which ideally is available on, in your toolkit. And uh, this reduces about 20 to 25% of your uh, sound levels. So without this, it's a very, very sporty sound. With the DB killers on, it is, it is going to be uh, uh, silent by around 25%. And uh, which will definitely not attract uh, unwanted uh, you know, attention on the roads. So you have the control uh, where you can actually you know, have your sound control of how much you want, how much not. And uh, plus there is one more beautiful aspect about this. This is about a 4 inch diameter and uh, has a uh, you know, um, laser cut welded clamp on the same which is a perfect direct fit. You don't need to move, uh, you know, struggle to fit it. Plus uh, you, know, you see this laser etch branding on it, uh, Atom and uh, says barrel exhaust on, underneath and this one uh, if, you, if you notice here we've given clamps uh, to make sure that your stock shield fits on it directly you don't need to you know um, have a shield that doesn't suit the bike it actually goes goes on the bike as if it is uh, you know the uh, uh, the stock part itself so it does not stand out too much in terms of um, you know, showing that it doesn't fit on the bike and all. It's perfectly aligned with that particular shield to make it look like it is OEM. Uh, and uh, the the other benefit of, of this exhaust being so short, uh, it's like a pocket bomb. Uh, so it being so short, this will be very useful for people who are going on long rides with saddlebags because uh, if you notice the stock mufflers and other things that are available, they're long, um, big ones, long ones, which basically can burn your uh, saddlebags. But this one, being very short does not hamper uh, or come in way of your saddlebags. It keeps your saddlebags safe. It keeps your weight on the bike very minimal. Uh, and um, being a free flow plus an optional D, uh, DB killer, that is optional. It, it comes pre-fit, pre-installed like this. This is how it's getting packed inside the uh, you know the uh, the foam box that we actually ship across the world. And uh, this comes with an option uh, removable DB killer which up to you when you want to have a sporty sound on the long rides on the highways you can definitely remove this otherwise uh, you can reuse this within the city limits so that you don't have to you know worry about uh, uh, you know attention grabbing or unnecessary attention grabbing otherwise it's really really goes very well on the bike makes it look more sleek sporty doesn't protrude out from the bike's body it actually is well within your uh, thing so that uh, you know it doesn't uh, um, you know, widen your body, or uh, the bike body. So this is available on our website, www.barrelexus.com. You just have to go to the menu, uh, you know, go select Royal Enfield, and then you will find this under that menu, and you can place the order. We ship it globally, uh, uh, you know, we ship it globally, and uh, normal timeline for global shipment is around 10 to 12 days. Within that, it is getting delivered across the globe, uh, exception to Russia, where it is a little bit more. But otherwise, within India, anywhere within India, uh, we take we deliver within a week, week's time. And if it is like south, southern region or uh, metros, 
we also can um, you know deliver it in two days. Um, so that's the that's thing about uh, the atom. It also comes with an insulation which is uh, high high thermal cap uh, insulation capacity of two one thousand two hundred sixty degrees. So uh, make sure that ma it makes sure that uh, there's pretty good amount of uh, you know insulation which does not burn out. It's flame resistant, does not burn out like most of the glass tools and the cheap stuff that people use. Um, and uh, and and the only thing you need to be careful about is. Uh, not only this with any exhaust system is a general rule that you make sure that it is not having any liquid damage that is when you're getting it washed uh, you make, gotta make sure that you don't uh, you know let the guy who's washing to pour water inside it because water can get inside and uh, and dampen the uh, insulation which uh, is not recommended so make sure that is there but otherwise using this whether you are in the uh, in, in the uh, you know the coastal area around the sea or anything uh, 100 percent uh, stainless steel 304 uh, it will never rust and if it rusts even after five years uh, if you show a spot of rust on the body we will replace it uh, you know for you uh, no cost and uh, the other 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 things about uh, this is uh, this has already been sold to uh, almost 16 to 17 countries we have bikers using it across the globe we have fantastic uh, reviews about this online you can search it on our website also you can search it on other uh, you know uh, um, social medias or uh, uh, you know wherever on internet you can find it out people who are using it love it and uh, you know there is uh, you know nothing that sounds more sportier than this and uh, the other thing about this is it allows your engine to breathe very freely freely on especially on long rides your engine does not have the extra uh, effort to push the gases out so it makes your engine breathe well breathing well what i mean is it actually uh, because it can, uh, uh, it has this quick scavenging effect on this, uh, uh, using this atom. Your uh, cylinders will be able to get empty completely on the exhaust stroke, uh, which uh, which makes sure that when your intake stroke happens, it actually brings in a lot of oxygen and a fuel mixture, where wherein more oxygen in the cylinder enables for better burning of the fuel. Better burning of the fuel gives you more power and good economy. And uh, people have uh, so far, we like hundreds and hundreds of uh, atoms have been sold across the globe, and none of them have any complaint of uh, you know big mileage drop or something like that. It's uh, it's pretty pretty proven, test tested and proven tested uh, by the customers, which we which we believe more than uh, you know going putting it on a dyno because uh, a lot of people ask for uh, you know dyno results and stuff like that. So when it comes to dyno results, what I what I would want to say is uh, dyno results uh, for a particular bike uh, it can be different from uh, all the other bikes like what happens is when, when, when you put it on a dyno and you're testing uh, your engine uh, there are a few things which helps you bump the uh, uh, the performance of the bike not just uh, like simple things I'll tell you not go too deep in that uh, three major things uh, contribute to a power delivery of your uh, motorcycle one is your exhaust the other one is the intake the other one is a combustion so now in exhaust the, the free flow the muffler the slip-on muffler the, does the job because it is light, lighter than your uh, stock exhaust and uh, that gives a very good bump in your uh, power to weight ratio second is it's a free flow it allows your engine to push out the burnt gases quickly makes the cylinder empty and that means like I, how I told you just before uh, uh, some time that it will bring in a lot of uh, new uh, fresh air with a lot of oxygen which will burn the fuel well the second is the intake most probably when you want better uh, things once you've done your exhaust, uh, there is the other one is people go for uh, air filters. You know, free flow air filters. The free flow air filters also uh, gives you, uh, gives the engine additional uh, uh, you know uh, uh, oxygen supply. Basically, oxygen is what is required to burn the fuel. So, uh, whatever fuel is being pumped in, the complete fuel needs to be burn burnt. Otherwise, what happens is normally when you uh, when people see that there is residue, there is a sticky uh, carbon left on the thing, that means your bike is running rich. Uh, fuel is not fully burnt it is coming out uh, from the cylinder so that is one thing which which ideally uh, the uh, ECU is taking care because it normally has the feedback mechanism in the auto sensor and then uh, it actually collects the uh, feedback from the auto sensor of how much of oxygen is still left how much of so, so that will uh, auto adjust itself the air fuel mixture whether the, there is more air or there is more fuel it will auto adjust that the second thing uh, about uh, thing is uh, the third thing about uh, performance is your uh, combustion. Now, 
uh, you would have seen that a lot of people who actually pump their uh, engines to higher uh, uh, you know uh, performance they go for uh, especially for the racing and the rallying uh, setup they rebore the engine they make the cylinder bigger they make the they put a bigger pistons they put higher performance so piston rings and all these things is what actually contributes to your combustion and also the spark plugs people i think go for the ngk iridium spark plugs or something like that now all these things is what contributes to a overall bump in your performance now when comes when when it comes to performance there is also one more thing that we need to look at is why why are we looking at that particular uh, um, you know jump in the performance see already this is a 650 cc engine which is a du uh, you know parallel twin it has a pretty good uh, um, you know torque it has pretty good uh, uh, you know speed uh, top ends and stuff good like that now unless you know why you need that are you going for a competition are you going to do drag racing are you going to um, you know it's just because somebody has uh, bumped their uh, uh, you know performance or engine they've, they've increased their uh, you know volume of these cylinders and stuff like that there is always a compromise right when you when you do those things yes you are getting uh, high performance and uh, higher speeds and stuff like that but there is another thing that the, when you increase your uh, engine uh, cylinder capacity let's say you make the 650 as an 800 or a 900 or whatever it is that you want to be making it uh, i think hcock supplies that uh, head bigger uh, pistons and stuff like that so when you do that what you're going to do is basically you're going to be um, burning out more fuel. Now, when you're burning out more fuel, is when you're going to get more uh, compression, get more uh, uh, performance, uh, torque, and stuff like that. But at what cost? At, at the cost of uh, uh, you know mileage. Now, we've seen in the last couple of I mean, few years, at least in the seven years, but people when we are either uh, the Royal Enfield customers or any other brand customers, everybody also has a question of what is the mileage? What, uh, will there be an impact on the mileage? Now, when you are looking at a regular use, uh, long rides and stuff like that, uh, ideally you should not be worried about uh, all the other things of uh, you know increasing your uh, um, cylinder capacity, putting a bigger pistons, or lowering in high performance uh, uh, piston rings and all these things, because that has a compromise on your uh, fuel economy. People go for different mapping, uh, custom mapping ECUs. Um, all these things will definitely add more performance to your bike. But there is always a, uh, uh, you know, a kind of a uh, compromise on either of things. One is you, you, you definitely when you do all those things, goes for a compromise on your mileage because you're going to be burning more fuel. Pretty simple. Now we don't uh, at Barrel Exhaust, right? We don't uh, try to sell you uh, fairy tales. Like let's say, um, just giving an example of Horlix. Uh, people, I mean, Horlix puts ads that. Uh, give horlicks to kids and they grow taller, stronger, sharper. Now, definitely, is that going to happen? It doesn't. So, the ideal thing is most people just say, okay, just put a slip on, uh, put a free flow muffler, you will get this bump in the torque and stuff like that. Now, what happens actually is the stock mufflers, based on the government regulations, are restricting the performance of the engine, which is already in there. The, the 650cc has a capacity, let's say 100% capacity. Because of the regulations, they are cut down. Now, how would I how how would I give you an example for this? Uh, if you just take an example of Aprilia or any other bike, BS4 and BS6 bikes, or BS3 and BS4 bikes, you will see that as the emission standards keep going up, uh, the company is either restricting the top end uh, or they are also restricting the power delivery of uh, of the bike. Now, these are the things because it's not because of the engine is not capable of your engine is definitely capable of good power, but the garment regulations bring it down. Now, when you go for these kind of changes, like when you go for a free flow muffler, what happens is basically, like I told you, the exhaust gives you three benefits. One is your uh, power to weight ratio because it's less in weight. Second, gives you a free flow. Basically, it helps your uh, engine to breathe better and uh, and that will help you to burn fuel in a much more optimum way and uh, deliver to you uh, good uh, uh, performance or power to the wheels. Third is the sound. Now, I, I, I don't know how many would agree for this, but normally when you have a stock exhaust, which where you have not heard, um, you know, got a feedback in terms of sound to you when you're riding, uh, these uh, exhaust systems give you a very good uh, uh, feedback in terms of uh, what's the sound? Uh, how much am I? How much am I throttling? How much is the bike? Uh, you know, more, um, um, you know, how much punch is there in the bike? Now, that's when what happens is people normally have this tendency to rev more. Um, so that is what actually I think three things, right? One is the looks, one is the performance, one is the aesthetics. Uh, aesthetically, let me tell you, just because they have to put in a lot of catalytic converters in the muffler, in the bent pipe, and all these things, 
it becomes very bulky. They have to reduce the sound. They have to put more baffles. They have to they have to, they have to reroute the gases uh, into chambers, into chambers, into chambers, and then get it out with a small hole. So now all these things is what is contributing to the mass of the mufflers. Now these ma ma mass basically ends up affecting your power to weight ratio. Now that's where this comes in. It becomes smaller. It becomes uh, you know more free flow. It gives you a better power to weight ratio. It reduces the dead weight on the bike. The bike is able to sprint better than before. Let's say eight kilos off the bike uh, when you put a atom muffler on your uh, uh, on your six fifty cc. Definitely, it's going to be uh, uh, you know making your bike feel more lighter, and uh, and the and the throttle response is better. The the feedback is better. All these things is what happens, right? So that's why you get uh, a better performance when you switch to a uh, aftermarket muffler. It's not that uh, this is uh, this or any other muffler is not going to be creating new uh, power into your uh, into your engine. It's going to be basically enabling is an enabler for the engine to deliver optimum power. Whatever it can, it pushes it to the next level. So that's what uh, we are looking for as. Uh, um, you know what we are going to be doing with uh, the Atom especially for the Royal Enfield 650 category. Now this uh, as I told you is available on BarrelExhaust.com uh, We actually serve a lot of uh, bike uh, bikes so I will be definitely talking about other products which goes on different bike categories like we have Rogue for uh, KTM's, for Bajaj, for Husqvarna, for even for Interceptor, uh, for uh, Expulse, for Himalayan um, for Benelli, Triumph, a lot of these things. So uh, everywhere we actually look at these things, right? The three, three things which uh, why which is why we probably change our exhaust systems. See, I'm also a biker, and I when I bought my uh, um, first motorcycle, I definitely went for a change in the exhaust system because three things, right? Uh, it has to look good, it has to sound good, it has to perform good. So these three things is what we actually consider when we develop a a, a muffler uh, for motorcycles. So I, I hope uh, um, you know a lot of questions have been answered through this uh, in this video. If you have any more questions, you just drop in uh, a comment, and uh, my team or I will be definitely uh, replying to you on that. Uh, this comes with a lifetime warranty against rusting. This comes with a one-year manufacturing defects warranty. So in case of any any of the weld joints breaking off or any uh, in internal muffler uh, you know uh, issue with the internal muffler gets cut or something like that. We will definitely give you a one-year manufacturing defects warranty. Uh, and the only thing is the liquid damage, which I've been repeatedly telling that liquid damage is something that is not in our control, which is in your control. Uh, unless you let water inside, uh, it's not going to be um, covered under the warranty. So make sure that you keep your mufflers dry and uh, enjoy the ride. And uh, look forward to see you on www.barrelexus.com. The buy link will also be mentioned in the in the uh, uh, description so please visit there um, talk to us uh, we also will be will be giving us giving you um, you know the, our contact numbers our email address everything all the details uh, that you might need uh, to get in touch with us um, so we don't have any bot to reply to your chats uh, it's a straight whatsapp that comes to lands to our customer care uh, phone number and uh, um, you know our customer care executive will uh, personally respond to you will talk to you if need you can call them um, only except on, on Sundays so I think uh, on the six days a week we are available uh, sometimes even Sundays my uh, team will be open to uh, respond to you in case it's it's feasible so um, so definitely uh, this is something that I would uh, request everybody to visit us uh, at, uh, at, our, at our website buy the genuine uh, atom and uh, join the, the hundreds and hundreds of bikers across the globe who are happy with the experience. It's all about experience between point A to point B. I hope to uh, see you barrel soon. If any questions, remember, put it on a comment. I will answer uh, as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for time. Um, see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.